Hi guys, Zima Baby here. It's vlog time. Um, I'm going to have a wee vape to start with. I'm not sure I had a vape before I started recording, but anyway. This week I've been using the Modifined um, Sirius mod. I quite like this. It just feels right in the hand. It's nice and comfy. Um, so I've been using that. And I've also been using the FDX. I can never mind the name of the stripper. Aurora. The Aurora EXY. I'm going to go and find the right name for it. And where am I going? This isn't all that. That's the one that lights up. Just try and hide the lighter. Um, there's no need for it. The FDX Aurora. It is. I don't know why they have. Oh, wait there. Oh, see, that's white. Close up. The EXY on it, so. I don't know. I thought it was a put FDX there. Yeah. Mm. It's not too bad. It's only standard dual post design. Fo focus. Um, screwless. Is it screwless this one? Yeah. <sighs> so I've been using that as well. Sitting on my small Charon TC 218, and look at the wear on that. I've been using this for a review, it. it's my all day mod, all day, every day. I've always got it with me, um, and that's why it's wearing away quite the thing. But that's been off. Oh, I can't even remember when I reviewed that. It was a long time ago anyway. I'll go and check. Um, Just talk to yourself so I'll look for this. Mm. That was back in May. 24th of May it was published. So a week before that is when I started to use this. Um, and as I say I've been using it every day since. Because I like the feel of it, but I prefer the feel of this one now. So it's a 50 50. Do I change or do I keep it? Mm. I may just try and fog this one, I think, and keep that one. But it's starting to show wear already. You know, that I've chipped it because there is a wee bit at the button coming off, but you'll see that when the review comes out. And that I'm using my frozen bond as usual. Mm. 
I'm trying to think about vape me off I did in the last week. I think it was just them. Um, right. I'll go to the up closer quick looks. I'll do the ones I've done last week that I showed you just sitting here. I'll do them as well. Here's the first one. It's small. That is there. What's this? It's an e leaf ice stick kaya. It's a GS tank. It's on top. Or the GS Juni tank, I should say. Let me see this first. It's definitely a mouth to long. To restricted long hit. Obviously, I've not tried it yet. I only received it the other day. I've not looked into it yet, but it will be getting reviewed soon. Bolt and battery. I think it's just wattage. Sorry, I've not even got my lights switched on here. There you go. Venting charge pot. I'm not a fan of that. So that's the first one. Next. You've got this. This is a e leaf basil. Basil. I do like that. You can hear it. Brushed on the other side. Again, USB on the bottom. Not far enough. They could have put it to the side. And this one is coming with the GS Basil tank. So it'll take the same coils as this. Got the GS series. Which is good. Same again. It'll be mouth to long. Or restricted one. And there's a stopper there. And yeah, same coil. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get it stripped down all these well, lubed up before I can use them. So I'll be coming for a view. Next up is this. And this is a iJoy Capo Squonker. Takes 18650, 2700, 2100. Side by side mod. One screw it. You do get your 18650 sleeve. There's no batteries in it. Squonk bottle, which comes out like so. If we can get it out. Nah, not liking this. Comes out like so and goes back in. Easy enough. There is. See as I get back in them, it's to get out. Mm. It's hard around the sides, and I've made both front and back there soft, which is a good feature. Mm. Get it back in. Mm. 
stop first. Click it in place. Big fly button up, down. It's amazing the screen. See, I've not even put a battery in this shit. And it on the dripper. We've got that slant going up towards the coils again. Seen that a lot then now. So that's my nice joy capo squonker. Next is this. And this is a Hugo Vapor squeezer. I think I showed you that up top last week, but I didn't show you down close. Got a lock and fire button. Some people may find that as a con. The button doesn't go right up, and anyway, it's in a lock position. And just a two post. And RDA that's on top. If we go inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. But there is a squeezer on the bottle. It's a silicon bottle. Converter. This takes I can't remember what it takes. It's eighteen six fifty and twenty seven hundreds. And this. Mm. That's a nice quick look at that. And last but not least, is the Vapor Storm V80. Single 18650. Nice clicky buttons. Mm, I don't know if I can check that on the rest of them. Spring loaded 510. Charge port on the bottom again, which I don't like. There's a bit there for you. To get the back door off easier. Mm, I've not even had this powered up yet. So, that's everything that I've had in the last two weeks. We'll go back up top. I do like this. Um, Kayan, Kaya, Kaya. How do I get Kaya? Don't know. I do like the <laughs> Kaya. It's small, stealthy. It's more suited to mouth to lung rather than direct lung hits. Mm. You can get a direct one hit, but it's a really, really tight direct one hit. It's not a full open like that. There is a good restriction to it. So I'd class it more for mouth to lung. Um, your basic starter kit, I'd say. I'd class that more a starter kit than um, some of the ones I've done previous that they've said of starter kits be 0 0.2 ohm coils and uh, that's come there at well, 0 0.76 it's not too bad for a starter kit at least it's not mega low just going to guzzle the juice that's definitely for stealth vaping just with the size of it. And then you've got the basil. If you notice up there. You've got a wee poster with it as well for it. That's the same same coils. Um, there is more air flow in this. So you can do a restricted one hit with this, because um, there is more 
air getting into this. In fact, I shouldn't be actually, because that's dual air with that single, but this feels more area. Um, less restricted. So that would be another good starter kit, both for bolt-in batteries. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the USB on the bottom of them. Um, it would have been better if they'd put it on the side or at the back there, on both of them. It just means that when you're charging it you have to let it down. Or if it was on the side like you could leave it standing up. Um, so I do like them. I still haven't put batteries or coils in the other ones yet. I will get that done. Um, I'll get it done while I'm editing this. I'll get the coils put in it. Chuck batteries in them, check them. Um, I should have probably done that before. I don't know. Up close looks and showed you them. But I didn't. I've just been too busy this week. Um, I had my auntie's funeral on Wednesday which totally threw all my work away and um, only done two shifts this week instead of the four because I should have been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night shift I done Monday, Tuesday, went straight to funeral um, without getting any sleep so obviously by the time I got to my bed and I was up early doors, Thursday, so there was no chance I was going to work Thursday night. Um, it's just been a hectic week on when did I do the close-ups. I've done the close-ups on the Thursday, this is Saturday. I've done the close-ups on the Thursday. Um, on the Friday, she decided that she was wanting the Christmas decorations up. So we've been doing that and we're still in the process of doing it. Cause We've changed the units in the living room so we don't have enough room for everything. So she's picking out what she wants to put on display and which she's not. It's taking forever. For me it'd be right, grab a box right, that's it, that's it, that's it and that'll be it. Doesn't matter what it is. But no, she wants to pick and choose everything. So it's a nightmare. Um, so I'll be doing it tomorrow again and finishing up. Putting the boxes back away. The house is a pigsty. Um, sitting here sweating. I don't know if the heating's on. It will be half seven. Yeah. Um, so it's just been a hectic week for trying to get stuff done. That's why the vlog is a day late to what it should be. But it should have been done yesterday. But obviously doing all the decorations and everything. I never had time to come up and do it. But I am doing it now. But you're not interested in that. You're more interested in the related stuff. Um, there was no giveaway last week. There's not going to be one this week. Um, because next week. I don't know if I'll do a vlog or not and the same week after because my vlog should land on Christmas Eve um, and I may not do it then if I do do it it'll be a bonus for you um, and that means that my next one should be done New Year's Day which I'll definitely not get done um, but there again it depends because I've put holidays in for the week between Christmas and the year. I'll find it where I go back to work on Tuesday. Is it Tuesday I'm back? Yeah, Tuesday I'll go back to work so I'll find it Tuesday if I've got the holidays or not. So I could put one in between Christmas and the year to cover both. Um, I'll wait and see because I have got a partial on the way. 
and for the last four days it said it's been shipped from China but it's still sitting in China so I don't know if it actually went out today or not I won't know until tomorrow to check tracking again um, I was hoping to have hit for the now so I could do the close ups and just add on to the other close ups or the quick looks whatever you want to call it um, and never came. I'm going to have a drink. So you may get a vlog next week, you may not. It just depends. It's a good wee device. Nice and light. I do like a leaf stuff. Mm -hmm. Still got the uh, TC40. Still got that. And a TC60. Mm. They're ancient, but I do like them. They still work fine. And I don't know if I'm actually going to give away this. I may just keep this for myself. And then vote it. Especially the mod, because I do like it. Um, and I may do a giveaway with something else to replace it because um, I try and do it that stuff that coming free I just chuck back out if I want to keep something then I'll have to replace it with something else um, so I'll just have to wait and see if I'm keeping it or if I'm chucking it not chucking it, giving it away I'll just have to wait and see what happens there? I don't know if I've actually got anything else to say. Comments from last week's vlog, there is none at all. Um, just comment and say hi, how you doing, what are you using, well you'll see what I'm using. Um, I'll be using they two for the next week. Um, if I keep this, I'll be using them for at work. Along with they two. Because I have my all day weight experimental, which is in my sub tank boss. Just see me we fall all the time. Yeah, so I think that's everything for the time being. I still can't get my mic to work properly. I don't think it's a good enough mic for doing this. It will do just now till I can get um, money together. Hopefully I'll get money for Christmas so I can go and get another one. Um, I'll just have to wait and see. Because the other mic that I've seen is, I think it's about £78 for the mic. But instead of it being in a separate USB, it's, into a, it's got its own USB sound card. So hopefully I'll make it better quality. And it'll save so much editing time for me. And because at the moment I have to put it into one, put the audio into software take out the hiss that comes with this mic um, save it insert it into the editing software and then have to increase the gain on it 
to compensate for the loss that was taken out with other software. So hopefully the new one will only have to do that and it will save some time. That light's bugging me now. Um, the one that's over there. That's bright. I've got it shining too much towards me instead of up. Which isn't helping. Um, so I don't even know if I added it to my wish list. I did. Eight to pound it is. It's a Maran's Professional MM, no, MPM 2000 U USB mic. So that's added to my Amazon list. There is a link down below that you can go and check, see what I've got added in there. I've got a headset in there. So if I do a live, well, a YouTube live, um, I can use that. But if the mic's better, then I maybe not need that at all. Well, hopefully, it might well be better at that price. Um, I won't need to get that at all. But I still need more USB ports at the front of my tower because the ones that's on it. Um, Plug you be in and it moves about too much. Sometimes it makes connection, sometimes it doesn't. That's just harshness on my side though. But I do need them. Someone suggested getting a wee four way converter. So it converts one to four. Yeah, that's fine if you've got a USB port that you can use. Um, the cable that came out wouldn't have been long enough to go through the back to the front so I, can't, I couldn't use anything like that because I can't get to the back without putting the tower right out because this is just a worktop sitting on top of two firing cabinets that I do my close ups on and here um, my keyboard sits on top I'd show you but I'd probably destroy everything because I've got my testing, testing tub underneath the camera and a gorilla stand. Yeah, so you just have to wait. Mm. But it's just basically a kitchen work top sitting on top of two filing cabinets, and that's my desk. So, and I've got my printer down there as well underneath beside the tower so it's not an easy place to get to mm. but this is supposed to be about vaping not everything else mm. I so wish there was a way to switch off the lights that's inside that there is only two, there's one either side <clears throat> but I wish I were a way to switch it off. I was thinking about getting a screwdriver and just banging it to break it. But then I wouldn't be able to show it in the review when I get around to doing it tomorrow probably. Yeah, it'll have to be tomorrow. I'll get a review for this done, but it won't get posted to tomorrow. Um, because this will go live tonight, so I'll leave it a couple of days before I put any reviews up. Um, I'll do the up top parts of the reviews for the two when I'm finished this. Just because I've got the camera set up and the mic set up. So I'll get the up top final part done of them. Um, and the up close part, which takes the longest. I'll get done tomorrow and the edit and I'll get done tomorrow which is the longest part it takes something like an hour just to put everything together and to um, get the final review 
What I'm learning to do is spend some time and try and get a better start done for um, my vlogs and my reviews instead of just saying that when eat my baby vape reviewer thing. I was looking at everybody else, they've all got music and everything. Mine's is what, five seconds and theirs is fifteen. Don't know if anybody actually watches the birch, but they are there. Um, the back 20-25 seconds at the end of them um, where I put two links to the last two reviews that I've done and in the centre is my subscribe button um, I'll just leave it I was going to add music or something to that too but for the time being I'll just leave that and concentrate try to get a new start so it looks better the hardest part for me is finding out software to use to actually do it because I'm not that way I can't do anything like that easily I never have I can build a PC, I can install Windows and everything but when it comes to designing like the start scene or something nah but I'll just have to daddle along and try and get it done So that's that. Uh, I've done close ups. Um, what's happening over Christmas and New Year? What have I got coming in now? I have got. Da, da, da. I'll check my. Well, I've never had it. So. For the next vlog, I'll have the close up of the Asvape M2 stroke 9 because I don't know if they're calling it a 2 or a 9, um, but it's one of the two. That's uh, Asvape M Evo RDA. So I've got a hit coming, and the Advkin Arthur. RDA is coming as well. That's what's getting held up in China, which I was hoping to have today to show you. Um, I've also got the SXK Prime clone coming or styled. Um, so it'll get reviewed eventually. To I think I'm actually up to a about February now actually yeah I've going everything I've got that's taking me up to February um, and after the new year I'm going to cut my reviews down um, things that sent on for free for review will get done before the stuff that I purchased. I was doing it the two in the stuff that I purchased and one free but I'm changing it. Anything sent free will get done before the stuff that I purchased. I'll still be up to the maximum of three reviews a week but I'll try and keep it to two. You just keep the time down at the moment. So, hopefully, uh, so it'll just be two, two reviews a week from January on until I decide to make it three. Because last year I just spent too much on vape gear for review and not for myself. And I want to try and keep it about even, um, so that's why I'm going to stick to two and not do three because I think I went to three just on June. Um, 
with an engine. So I'll maybe even have to drop it down to one a week. Yeah, because I started off one a week until May, and then I went to and then I started to go to three about September, no, August. Yeah, August, middle of August I started to go to three. So I may go back to my just my one review a week. Um, to try and make it so I'm not spending as much money. Obviously I forget reviews and or items in for review. Um like I've got two here from A Leaf. I will do both the same week. That just depends, because by the weeks that my subscriptions aren't going up, or they went up a wee bit, but not much. I'm sitting at 247 at the moment. Yeah, 247, which is nothing when you look at the bigger reviewers. I know my sound isn't properly. I started work on the lighting for the best place to put my lights. Just to try and get it up there, and <clears throat> I don't have nothing vapor related behind me. Well, I have, I've got this now, but other than that, that's it. And I need to get all oh, this clear at this side down there, or earlier, I should say. Um, it's just a big pile of junk that has to get cleared. Um, so I can then try and get something organised so I've got a screen at the back of me that I can put stuff on like this folder eh, folder aye this advertisement for companies um, and try and get my subscriptions up because if I don't get them up by the end of, I don't know when, next year or some point, if I'm not up into thousands, then I may just have to cut this channel and do a review when I, whenever I get anything in that I purchased for myself, like what I done when I first started the channel. But hopefully it doesn't go down that route. I'll just have to wait and see. Right, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm just blathering and you'll be falling asleep and switching off, bored. Because that's been a wee while now. Right. So, thanks if you've lasted this long. I know I'm about to sleep in here. Um, reviews for the two will be coming out this week. The Elif stuff will be next week. What dates, I don't know. Um, just whenever I punt them it because it depends what day I can actually get them recorded depends what day I can put them out um, without it being Christmas week so thanks for watching us again please subscribe if you haven't and there is a link down there I think it is I think it's there if not it's over here no, it's definitely there. Yeah, it's definitely down here. It's a wee green button with my logo on it. With my EMBB. Um, if you've already subscribed, don't hit the button because you will unsubscribe yourself. And then you won't get updates when I do post my vlogs or reviews. Right, so thanks for watching. And I'll catch you soon. Bye just now.